Hey everybody, welcome to TPG's World. It's me, TPG. It is the 21st of January, 2017, and I am doing a car vlog. It has been like forever since I did a car vlog, but I wanted to talk about a few things. First of all, I wanted to thank everybody for reaching out to me last night after my video uh, through text and phone calls and Facebook messages and even emails and stuff and comments about my father and what's going on with my dad. It was a very hard video to make and a hard video to post, and I appreciate it. And I'm so, um, so grateful that I have such wonderful people in my life to reach out to me and to express, um, you know, concern and love and support for me and to know that I have people out there that love me and care about me. It's just an awesome feeling. Um, I got to go on a few live streams last night. I hung out with Doug for a little while, him and Project Dorton. I just had a blast in that stream. It was just such a fun stream. I uh, did a little AMSR video, ASMR video last night, and uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, I tried my best. I won't say it's the best one. I know I got to get a new chair and things like that, but I tried. I'm trying to make one. I did a late night one. I couldn't really sleep last night. I got a lot on my mind concerning my father and things like that. So I said, well, I'll just do a little AMSR video. Everybody's been wanting me to make one. I'll make one now. And I did. And it was a lot of fun. But anyway, as I said, I'm on my way to, I guess I said this already. I'm on my way to the Metro Diner, uh, which is that restaurant we tried to go to the other night that was so packed. But I want to go there today because I want this meatloaf. It looks so good. And I'm craving meatloaf like crazy. So I hope they sell it at lunchtime. If they don't, I'm probably going to like break down and cry. But um, I'm going with my friend Whitney, who, as I said, played my daughter in the hairspray. I'm going to treat her to lunch. So I'm really excited about that. I think I've already said that though. Guys. Sometimes I, I forget because I love talking to you guys so much. I forget what I say in my vlogs. But um, yeah, so it's, it is beautiful here. It was really cold this morning when I woke up and let the dogs out. Waffles got up pretty early this morning. Uh, we don't have school today because it is MLK Day. So happy MLK Day. Um, but other than that, um, so I'm off today. But this is, we were off Friday and today. We had a four day weekend, but this is our last holiday to like April, to like the second week of April. So we got some long months ahead of us. Really long, stressful months. So I gotta do a lot of praying and a lot of holding in things about my dad um, because it's really started to get to me in a lot of ways. Um, but I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna make the best choices that I can make right now. Um, and I have a lot of things I gotta check on and, and look into and stuff before I do that. Um, but again, thank you guys to everybody who has reached out to me. I did a little live stream this morning while I was getting ready to clean up my room. I had a blast. Uh, we had fun in there talking. I met some new people that came by. That was always a lot of fun, uh, meeting new people and uh, finding out a little bit more of some other channels came by and I got to meet some new channels and I love being able to go into other communities and reach into other communities and meet people involved in other ones. And I myself have been going into some wonderful uh, communities as well, getting to know other people in other communities too. I think that's important for all of us as YouTubers to understand other communities and go into different communities and learn them and learn about them. Because I, I crave knowledge. I love knowledge. My gosh, y'all, gas is 174 here. Wow. I crave knowledge. Um, I love to learn new things always, constantly. I think that's why I love being in education so much. I constantly love to learn new things. So when you learn new things constantly, I think you... You stop growing when you stop learning. So I'm always open to learn. So like, there's a lot of, like when I first heard of ASMR, I never knew what it was about. I had no idea. I had never heard of such a thing. I was like, what the heck is this? Never heard of this thing. I didn't know what it was. So it was very interesting to me to go in and learn. And luckily, Just Us Hambricks and Sharon Simply Southern were able to tell me about it and teach me a little bit. They sent me some videos. I watched it. And I thought, hmm, I might can try this. So I started working on it. Like I said, I have not perfected it. I did a little one last night. Got some critiques on it. I want to work on some things. And maybe, who knows, in the future I'll do some live ones or some other ones. I know, um, I know some people that do them themselves. I want to talk to them as well um, and get their opinion of some things. So, yeah, other than that though that's pretty much you know I, I enjoyed learning about that community guys I'm gonna tell you how bad the weather is here right now it is so hot here it's hot I've got my air conditioner running in my car I know that makes everything sick when you got snow up the ground but I'm literally like sweating I wore two shirts and I am burning up right now because I wore two shirts I thought it was cold outside but it's really not it was it's not cold at all I was worried about it being too cold but I'm not cold at all so I'm like ugh so yeah but like that's pretty much it guys um 
I'm just, I'm taking it one day at a time with my dad. I'm gonna go to lunch with my friend and then I'm gonna call my dad and go by and check on him on the way home, see how he's doing today. Um, and just, you know, see what that situation itself is entailing and leading to because it's a really stressful life and a really stressful situation for all of us. And even for my father, because he called me last night just crying and not wanting to be put in a home. And I know that's not what he wants. He doesn't want to leave his house and his dogs and the thing that makes him happy. But I did get some great advice on, on YouTube. And one of the things was maybe put him, you know, let him get a change of scenery and do something to make him come out of this depression because I do believe a lot of it is depression and that runs in our family I know I suffer from it I've many many times myself battled with depression and things like that I talk often in my videos to you guys about how I stayed locked in my house for nearly a year and a half after my brother passed away so um yeah that's basically the way it is and the way the world is and I'm hoping that things will work out and I know I've got friends right now but Please keep a lot of my friends and people in your prayers. Share, um, you know, there's so many people out there that are sick right now with colds and, and also people that are taking care of sick family members. And so I'm not the only one feeling this. So please also keep these people in your prayers um, and pray that, you know, they themselves will find a little peace of mind because it is very stressful. I certainly, certainly understand what people are going through and how it is to have that. And um, it's, it's very stressful. And, um, you know, it is hard. It's very hard to, to do. And, and it's hard. But as a child, that is your job. That is what you feel you have to do for your parents. It is what we have to do. There's no question about it. Uh, they did it for us, and we have to do it for them. And, you know, they took care of us in our worst and still do as adults. So we have to take care of them in their worst. Um, so anyway, guys, I'm almost here. I'm very excited about eating in this restaurant. I do hope they have meatloaf, guys. But, of course, I'll probably change my mind and get a sandwich or a burger because everything on the dang menu looks really, really good. But So I'll probably do, like, an appetizer and something. I don't know. But anyway, guys, I really do want this meatloaf. You guys understand? I love meatloaf. People ask me often, what's your favorite food? Meatloaf. I love love meatloaf. I really do. Meatloaf is like my favorite food in the world. I love it. Um, I also enjoy Sloppy Joe's, but I love homemade meatloaf. Now, I have a friend. Oh my gosh, all the line is around the building. I wish I could show you guys. Let me show you, see if I can flip this camera. I don't know if it's not. No, it's not. Give me the option to flip it around. Um, but I wish I could show you guys where this is because it is absolutely the craziest thing I've ever seen. The lines are like, oh my gosh, guys, the lines are everywhere. Can you guys see me good? The lines are everywhere. It's like around the building guys this is the craziest thing i have ever ever seen in my youtube life this is funny oh my gosh because i wish i could show you but somehow it's not letting oh it's not letting me flip my camera around on this when i video it this way but it is just so funny you guys i'm like dear lord i can't even imagine the way people are parking and where they're parking it's just like oh lord i have to meet somebody in 10 minutes what am i gonna do and oh my word i don't even know it's y'all this is unreal it's like People are like, oh my gosh, what do we do? You know, <laughs> there's a new restaurant in town. Let's all, everyone in the whole city, go eat there at one time. And that's so funny to me because I'm like literally, <laughs> like, how am I gonna get in here? Y'all, this is unreal. It's so funny. It's, I guess it's life in a small town. They act like this restaurant's only gonna be open for like three days and then it's gonna close and they're never gonna get to eat here again. And it's anytime we have a new business in this town, this is how it goes. It's like the funniest thing because people literally go crazy in this town. Like our bylo moved across the street and the same people that were shopping there on Tuesday, on Wednesday, were lined up around the building to see it. It was so funny. I was dying laughing because it was, I have never seen anything like this in all of my days. It's the funniest thing I have ever witnessed and will ever witness in my lifetime. It is so funny, guys. I wish you guys could see this. It's just funny. Oh, my word, you guys. <laughs> it's unreal. It's just so funny. Hold on, guys. I gotta back up. I gotta my nose there for a minute. Okay, guys. There we go. Alright, so yeah. It's just crazy. It's like... <laughs> people are, oh, sh Somebody took my parking spot. Dang it. Fools. I said, oh, crap. Oh, I'm not having a good day here with this thing. With this place. It's not... It's not going to be a good day. There's like 
Wait, I found a parking spot, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Yay, guys, I found a parking spot. I can't believe it. Okay, guys, I'm here. Thank you for coming. I'm at the Metro Diner. I'm going to meet my friend. Um, so I hope you guys all have a great, wonderful day. Don't do anything crazy um, or insane. Um, have the be the best you you can be because you're just there's only one of you. So be the best you. And always remember to have fun and remember that hating on people is a disease and some folks need to get well soon. All right, guys, I love you. Talk to you soon. Bye.